Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Indian Dev. My name is Ayush. And I am Nishan. So in today's video, we are going to cover the polyfill of reduce. Yeah. So this is the third polyfill. If you guys haven't watched the videos of polyfill of filter and map, then please consider like watching those videos. You will get a lot of uh, knowledge about like how a polyfill can be created. Without any further delay, we can get into the video. But before that, if you guys are new to this channel, The Indian Dev, then please consider subscribing to The Indian Dev. Now let's jump on to the reduce method of of array so first of all as we are following the pattern in the previous videos as well we will be going with the same pattern that initially we will look that how reduce is working and uh, yeah for that we are having an array initially and if i can have the bullet points for reduce method that what are the things that we need to keep in mind for reduce so we can see that uh, as the name suggests as the term suggests reduce so it will be reducing the array to a particular value if i just want to have the sum of all these array elements then i can reduce uh, the that uh, particular array to a single value so for reduce uh, const uh, maybe i'm naming it as sum of array so i'm applying the reduce method array dot reduce and in that reduce if you can see at the uh, you can see at the documentation that there is a previous value and the current value the current index and the complete array so uh, what i can do is i can simply write at current value in the callback method initially like as we know we don't need any kind of index or the complete array as of now so what i'll be doing is i'll be simply you know i'll be simply adding these previous value and the current value so here if i can have a look so what reduce will be doing is it will be receiving a callback in which it will be giving us the previous value so as you can see always get a previous value on which next computation to be performed so initially uh, there is no previous value so uh, we can provide some sort of you know if i can if i just wanted to have the initial value as zero so it will be like this let me print the sum as well so that it is uh, pretty much clear so yeah here you can see that the sum of array is 70 because we have provided the initial value is 0. And in a simple language, you can say accumulator as a result of a one step. Okay, so the previous value plus current value is known as accumulator for the next step. Okay, basically result of the previous step. So this previous value or accumulator is the uh, result of the previous computation. And as Nishant has mentioned that we can, we can have the reduce method without, you know, without providing the initial value as well. So in that case, uh, the loop or the looping inside this reduce method will start from, you know, will consider two and four as the previous and the current value. So this is again a tricky question from the interview that if I am not providing any initial value, then the iteration will reduce by one, right? If we can have a look, length of this array is seven. So in that case, if we are not providing any kind of, you know, initial value, then in that case, only six iterations will be there. Otherwise, seven iterations will be there. Yeah, so that's the whole idea behind reduce. So if we can again have a look, initial value can be provided. Yeah, zero can be provided. It's all up to you if you want to, uh, you know, add something uh, in that uh, particular reduce, then you can always provide the initial condition. Otherwise, the reduce is always working. So reduce the value to a particular element at each step with the result of previous step that we are already yeah, seeing that it is computing some sort of information from the previous received previous value right logic of loop yeah that is again as the method is of array array dot reduce then definitely it will be having some sort of iteration inside the uh, you know inside the reduce code and always get a previous value on which next combination do we perform accumulator so that we are already receiving so i believe now uh, uh, we are clear with the implementation of reduce that how reduce is working internally and we also know a trick question that uh, if we do not provide the initial value then the iterations will be reduced by one now i think uh, we can simply move on to the polyfill part of uh, this reduce method for that again i can you know simulate reduce method with null so that uh, the method provided by js is not available to us now we can write the code of polyfill so we are going to add my reduce method to prototype okay. i am adding it to the prototype of errors in the reduce method so first parameter is the callback and the second one is the result of previous step means previous computation okay so i am taking it as a like initial value so in the first case it will be a initial value now there is a question so if we are not providing a initial value so what will be the case so we can uh, you know make it as a uh, default value if the value is not there so we can make it as a null so in the accumulator which is the result of a previous value okay so we will assign the initial value to the accumulator so in the first step we are implementing a for loop and you guys are wondering how i'm 
going to get the lens. So we are taking the help of this keyword, which will reference the this array. In this step, we have to you know assign the result. So accumulator equal to callback. So this is the callback function which have provided the logic what we are going to perform. So there is a callback function and the parameter is first parameter as you see is the previous value. So it will be accumulator. accumulator. Okay. The second value is the current element. Okay. And the next element is index. Okay. And the last element is the whole array, which is this. So basically what I am doing here is assigning the callback means this whole logic to the accumulator because as we have told you, accumulator is the result of the computation. At the next step, you know, we have to return the accumulator. Whole thing will be calculated in the accumulator yeah as we have removed the original reduce method so what i will be doing is instead of you know instead of using the same code uh, for the reduce i'll be using my own polyfill so i can define it as sum of array one now you can see that initially it is uh, you know printing the sum of the array but as soon as we have nullified the reduce method then after it is not accepting the reduce method what we can do is we can simply use our own polyfill so yeah you can see here that the result is absolutely same and this way we have achieved the polyfill of reduce and uh, nishant i believe that this is the beauty of understanding or learning about the polyfills because uh, yeah, like yeah. Uh, if uh, i ask any of the developer or any of the junior developer he will be conf always confused with the like how reduce is working they always like prefer to apply for loop that rather than the reduce function but if anyone is uh, having the idea that how it is working under the hood then it is very easy to understand that how reduce is working so if i just wanted to you know start the sum with the you know so if i can have the initial value as 10 the sum should be 80 so i can simply pass the initial value if that's working or not so yeah sum of array 1 you can see is 80 so yeah in any of the case it is working absolutely fine so just to summarize what we have done we have defined the points of the reduce method then after we had a look on this reduce method that how it works then after we had written the uh, code for the polyfill and that is pretty much easy the few things that we just need to understand that what will happen if initial value is not provided or uh, what is the accumulator and how this accumulator is being updated so that's how the reduce method is working and now we have achieved the polyfill of reduce and in the next videos we will be covering for each and promise related polyfills please make sure to subscribe to the indian dev channel and apart from that if you have learned any of the concept then please consider liking this video so thank you for watching this video guys Thank you very much.